sold it on. Well, honestly. It's, yeah, if we get into it, we get into it. Well, I mean, it really is kind of like getting a new phone, though. Cause you're yeah, like, no, oh, it really is. It's like, oh, man, all these wonderful things I had here. What do I do with them? Where I had they all go? these playlists for months and months. And, like, the best, I'd picked out so much music. Dude, yeah. I make the sickest playlist on the <laughs> Um, Can you hold your mic a little closer to your face? I can. All is right, that better? Cool. Uh, yeah, I would imagine so. Okay. It, it's a little greener over there. Cool. But, um, damn it, it's annoying and frustrating. Really yeah, is. dude, it really is. Like, <laughs> I, it, I mean, it's it's annoying. It's always been one of those things where, like, I've always done it with like family plans too, but not like family, just like friends. Mm-hmm. And so, if you like break up with that girl, and and she like dumps you on her Google playlist or like your her Spotify thing, you're like, I lost so much music. Mm-hmm. And I've done that like three times, so I finally <laughs> learned my lesson. <laughs> And like I was like, do you, I need to man up and get my own damn music account. Yeah, like, there you go. that's what needs to happen. So, all right. Well, I, <laughs> yep. Lessons. Everybody, lessons. 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 L- lived and learned the hard way. Apparently, you'll lose so much music. <laughs> all right, everybody. This is Thomas Zachary, and this is the KAAMP. That is the Knoxville Area Artist Network and Platform. Um, this is a podcast for artists and the regular old public by artists and the regular old public on occasion. Now, that being said, you can find us on Google stuff, Apple stuff, Spotify stuff, uh, anywhere Anchor distributes to. If you want to do the thing and be cool and support the podcast, uh, go share it and all that jazz. Today, we have someone that dabbles with, uh, video and imagery and moving pictures moving pictures among many many other things yeah dude i do everything uh so friend why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself uh yeah my name is alex bullock um i own a company called film pilot which is like a videography based like and slash entertainment kind of deal um youtube videos kind of i shoot music videos i just shot like a wild music video this past sunday yeah i saw some of that on your facebook page earlier yeah dude it looks really cool i'm glad because <laughs> uh it was very challenging i bet and uh like the day uh the day before i had like 35 people like committed to being there did they all show up no dude. <laughs> no like listen to me dog from sunday until that sunday until saturday uh i had this entire music video planned out to a t because I've never, I'd never directed something as big as what this had turned into. Mm-hmm. Um, like at one point, I had like fifty dancers, and then like the fifty turned into like thirty, and then the day of, and my like, mind you, I'd put in all this time, like got every, like I streamlined everything for people because you know I mean everybody was doing this for free, right? Um, Didn't hurt to make it easy on people. Yeah, dude, I, I like, <laughs> dude, I worked so hard, so I'm. I'm talking like probably like 30 hours into prep alone. Like I storyboarded everything, uh, and like seven people showed up, Ugh. and so all of it went out the window. Yeah, there was no, there was nothing anymore. There was no like story anymore. I had seven people to work with. Mm. <laughs> yeah, dude. So it was like that's a hard curveball, right? There. Dude, it was. It was. Um, your uh, one of your guests, Travis. Uh, that's how I guess you kind of know me. Mm. Um, he, me, and him did a uh, forty-eight hour film festival. I think he talked about it. Like it was like a year ago. Yeah, so. yeah, he did. Yeah, so um, it was kind of like that all over again. Like I showed up, <laughs> I had I had a plan, and then nobody was there, and then like I just I don't know had to through that completely piece of paper in the trash and start. Yeah, over. I really did, dude. I was like, all right, well, this is fucking done. So I'll just <laughs> set this over here. What can we do now? Right. Well, how many did you have? Seven dancers, or was it seven people total? Uh, uh, so I, the main girl showed up, and and uh, like I made sure to like pay her some money because she uh, she worked out a complete routine. Um, I don't know. I had this vision in my head of like contemporary ballet along with this song. Uh, I don't really know why, but you went with it. I did. I did go with it. I I tried to make it happen as much as I possibly could. Um, so this girl uh, randomly, uh, I used social media what it was intended for and it actually worked for a change hey <laughs> yeah right um and so i got all i mean i at like saturday i had like 30 people had committed uh but then sunday obviously like so a how many excuses cup. did you get the next day 
Dude, honestly, like nobody even just answered. What? Yeah. I had one I had some friends that were just like, Hey dude, it's honestly just really hard for me to commit to anything. Uh on Sundays especially. So and I was like, I get it. I wasn't I literally was not mad at anyone. I mean everybody was trying to volunteer their time for free. And I appreciate even like them trying. Right. At least I don't know. They went out of their way to say yes, they would be there, even though instead of just like telling completely you flat out, ignoring. No. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, dude. So we had like six people show and had to just wing it. It looked really cool, though. Yeah. It looks really pretty. Like the the video is going to look really pretty. What what I've seen is is really neat. I'm, <coughs> I'm excited to see the finished product. It's for I mean maybe I should mention it's for a band called Caleb Mullins and the Witness. Yeah, go ahead. Um, Do the thing. Tell them all about They're, it. I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know, I've like hung out with them a little bit. and we, I shot a video for them. Uh, so, I know they're having an album come out soon. So, But check them out. They're cool people. Yeah. What's what's their name again? Caleb Mullins and The Witness. There we go. Uh, so, man, did you just kind of fall into this creative lifestyle you got, or did you work for it? Like, have you built this thing over um, a while? Yeah, dude. I mean, kind of a little bit of both. Like, I've always been, like, since I was a kid, I've always been creative. I started out drawing mainly. Like, that's where I, um, that's what I wanted to do for a long time but I wasn't good enough. I mean, I maybe could have got good enough with more practice, but it was just, mm, I don't know. I just felt like I didn't have the skill. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I moved to taking pictures. Um, I took some photography classes in college and they were like teaching us off of, um, off of like Google and YouTube and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I was like, well, I'm not giving you guys money. Uh, I could just do this at the house. Right. Um, so, Went home, found this guy named Peter McKinnon on YouTube, uh, watched all his videos, studied everything like all these YouTubers are doing, and uh, kind of just went from there. Um, was mainly trying to do pictures, started doing that like as a business a little bit. Uh, then Knoxville was like pretty saturated with photographers. Oh boy. So I was like, I don't really want to like fight people over jobs. Um, and at the time, and still, really, like, video is still very, like, young, I feel like, in Knoxville. We've got – I can name the top five people, like, you know, on one hand. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know. It's just, like, I feel like I still have a chance to, like, grab some – Yeah, it's not It's not totally – Grab some clientele yet. before it gets sucked up. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. I definitely see way more photographers than videographers out and about doing yeah. the thing. Yeah. It's been cool though. It's been cool to like teach myself, really, and I don't know. Is that uh, is that how you've acquired most of your skills? Yeah, dude. I mean, I uh, I didn't know shit. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I have a good eye. I have a. I I do. I'm blessed with a good eye for like pictures and video. Um, but skill wise, when I started, I didn't. Like, I guess I started. Well, it's been three years since I've started doing video, and I've grown from like. My first video on YouTube was um, about the sunflower field. Yeah. Uh, and I wish I'd kept it up, but I think I deleted it because it was uh. just like trash. <laughs> uh, the next video is also still garbage, and it is still it's still alive on YouTube. Um, but yeah, man, I just uh, I I wanted to do the YouTuber life, and I still kind of do. I've got some plans, um, but right now I'm just kind of working for businesses and stuff like that. Well, hell, if I could run an art blog with the art I create, I, I'm, you know, tempted to give it a bigger try, but, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, dude. Uh, I still rock a day job, so right now it's not the Dude, day. I've got, I've been, I'm really blessed. I've got a couple of safe jobs um, that are still in the video field. Yeah. And then uh, I officially launched my business in July, uh, L, like got my LLC and like business license and stuff like that. Um, and I've slowly been like, gaining my own clients since then well good so but i still got my safe jobs right so i can always bank on some kind of a paycheck yeah that's yeah a, that's a huge plus yeah i know dude, it really is uh, and, and it's i'm sure it's flexible enough for you to run off and go dude, do it, thing. it's like i could not ask for a better job <laughs> you know honestly i feel like i'm in a pretty good situation with my my employer right now so yeah. i like i know exactly what you're saying and i ain't gonna fuss about it yeah dude <laughs> yeah no 100 percent like Love it. I show up to work smiling. Mm-hmm. Most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
So what uh, drawing and then what? Let's let's kind of take a trip from the first couple of things to where you okay. are now when it comes to mediums. Uh, so drawing soup definitely in high school. I took art class in high school like seven times. I don't even know if you were supposed to. Like I don't think <laughs> I was even supposed to be able to take that class that many times. Um, wasn't that great? Uh, probably around like twenty three. I'm 33 right now. So probably around like 23, I picked it back up, uh, practiced like every single day, made some contacts um, like in the Marvel kind of universe and stuff like that. Uh, Never really was that good, but I mean, I could definitely see my skills were improving. Um, And I don't know, I just kind of fell out of it again. Um I was in a bad relationship at the time, so that probably had a little bit to do with it. Yeah, it usually does. Uh, so, I don't really remember. I think I was still drawing when I was introduced to photography. And I maybe I should say this. like The person that first really introduced me to photography is my now, well, ab- about to be ex-wife. <laughs> um, that's, that's all right. So I remember I took, she had this Canon Rebel TI something. Do you, I mean, it was like a soccer mom camera. Uh, one of those ones you get on like Black Friday. And uh, we took it to the sunflower fields again. Like this is probably like, I don't know, it was like 25 maybe or something. Um, and I took one picture and it was like a dope ass picture of a sunflower. And like everybody, like it was like Facebook was still pretty early, you know. Um, so it got a lot of good attention. It got it got a lot of attention on Facebook and like from her friends and we're like, oh my gosh, can I use this as like a screensaver or whatever, yeah. a phone, or like a wall ba- a wallpaper. Um, so that's always like stuck in my head too. Um, but I was so I was still like drawing and stuff like that when I decided to go back to college. I I wanted to go back to college to finish my degree, which was graphic design. Um, it went that's that's where it is. It went drawing, <laughs> graphic design in college sucking terribly at graphic design like i'm all right but like people were like leaps and bounds ahead of me yeah and then i was just like i know the thing. drop out of college <laughs> keep drawing go back to college so when i went back to college i was trying to finish my degree and i was like i want to take a fun class so i took photography now we're kind of up to speed yeah so now um <clears throat> that's the most recent shift yes uh okay. so i would say uh, 20, gosh, what is it? 20, it's 22, right? Yeah, yeah, that. <laughs> uh, oh, God. <laughs> probably like 2018 or 2019. Um, I was doing photography classes and like practicing photography. And uh, I don't know, I just got the YouTube bug from like literally, oh, the YouTube stuff from this dude named Peter McKinnon on YouTube. Like, he is my video origin story. Okay. I mean, they, I, I could say the same thing for some of the, the, crazy psychedelic things i paint like there's a gentleman in australia and he is like my go-to reference when i'm just like yeah i need something beautiful to look at you know i go find his stuff yeah or you know seek it seek inspiration otherwise yeah i go check out his work yeah um but now my my business focuses on um social media like i'll come to whoever's business or whatever the business like once or twice a month uh shoot content edit the content and then post it to whatever platform so that's what I've kind of turned it into. Yeah. And that, that encompasses like all the skills. You even have a little graphic design. In there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I do too. Like I, yeah. You know. So, so, uh, what, what other projects have you had this year other than that, uh, other that than music the, video? The music video? Yeah. Um, and Travis's wedding. Uh, I would say this year has been a lot of like, a lot of like, business stuff um i shot three like three full-length commercials for this company called tim's fencing and they're all very good well one of them was serious and then two of them are very goofy like um one of them the husband calls like the wrong fencing company so we have actual like fencers sword fighting through the house (laughs) and like sold yeah dude uh (laughs) Yeah, like I like it. I don't think it's some of my best work, but I dig I dig the concept and it turned out pretty good. Oh well, hell yeah. Um the other one is uh we have this girl like running alongside one of the fences they built 
and like all these dudes are cat calling, but they're like cat calling the fence and yeah. not the chick. <laughs> So that's awesome. Yeah, dude. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's a pretty fun industry. Like I, I've made some good, good connections for people that are like, just kind of have fun, man. And we, we'll dig it. Yeah. Well, that, I love hearing that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, good. I'm glad you had that experience. Um, look, is that going to be on local TV? No, dude. It's, it's, uh, it it's just be? on Facebook. Okay. It's on Facebook. They're running ads on Facebook. Well, I look forward to seeing that then. <coughs> They're out. I can send them to you. Oh God, please. <laughs> yeah, they've been they've been out for a minute. We did these last uh I guess almost last year now. Yeah, um, I definitely want to see that. <laughs> yeah. They're pretty funny, dude. So do you have um any creative aspect well the question I should ask next is does Knoxville treat you well today, right now, as a creative person? I yes, I think so. Um, there's plenty of stuff to do in Knoxville that welcomes people to video. Uh, like uh, my buddy John Fletcher is really into, um, or was really into, and getting back into uh, mountain biking. And we have like Baker's Creek and stuff oh God, like that. So many trails. Yeah, we have like Imes and like I mean we have everything. And mm-hmm. obviously you can take your camera everywhere there. Yep. Um, yeah, dude, there's there's not a lack of like creativity and stuff like that to do in Knoxville that you can also like take your camera. Right. Um but then also I feel like a lot of the <clears throat> a lot of the people here are pretty accepting and doing stuff like that too. Um a buddy of mine, uh Jordan Talent who assists directed or assist uh camera operator B for the music video, um, just started a group called A six five Shooters and it's just like yeah. <laughs> amazing um love you dude i'm not i'm not down for like shooters as a name <laughs> but it's it's and it's it's just like a creative meetup like he he gets along with everyone uh he posts the time anybody who's welcome or like everyone's welcome to come well, that's cool bring your camera bring your video camera yeah it's just like a chill time so shout out to that dude for building community up yeah man anytime people can facilitate a creative space it's awesome and i'm here for it yeah um well now i know that happens <laughs> yeah dude. yeah it's uh they've been doing it like once at least like once a month trying to they meet up, I, and i'm not gonna lie to you i have not been able to go to one <laughs> uh i've only missed it's, there's only been two let me not like right. it's not been going on for like a year you're an hab- a habitual offender um i had a wedding to shoot on the second one and i was shooting for a business on the first one so. right, it's good to stay busy yeah and that's a legitimate <laughs> excuse it is it's a legitimate like excuse. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I am legitimately working. So, yeah. so man, do you have any um, projects in the pipeline? Some some moonshot things. I do. You want to talk about them? Um, it's okay to say no. Yeah, no. I can definitely <laughs> talk about one, and then like I will kind of talk about the other one. But it's it's um it's definitely still in the works. All right. Well, um, uh, this so actually, as soon as this podcast is over. I'm going to go pick up my uh, Siberian Husky named Parker. And he has been um, off-leash trained by this company called AK Non Off-Leash, which super cool company because they bartered with me. I'm shooting content for them, and they gave my dog like the most expensive hey, training package. Yes, sir. Um, so I bought Parker a camera and a harness, and we're going to like do like hiking videos wherever he's allowed to go. Yeah. So like that's, I think, the direction I'm about to take my YouTube channel. It's just like cinematic hiking videos, but also with like a dog cam. I'm here for it. As oh. like a gimmick, he's also like a super cute dog. How can you go so wrong with like, a super cute how, dog? Yeah, dude, how do you like not, <laughs> how do you not love me at this point? Right. Um, but so the past like three weeks uh, to a month, I've been talking about um, roasting my own coffee. Yeah. And I'm, I think I'm like, I've been deep diving into like, Okay, so wait, <clears throat> you are one of those coffee guys, like, are Dude, you, I'm are not, you that, so I'm not. You're, so I, listen, I how will, deep in this rabbit hole are you? Is what I need to know. I want to do it as something different to do. Okay, um, I wake up every morning and sometimes I get a coffee, but most of the time I'm sucking down an energy drink. <laughs> uh, I don't do hot shit in the morning, so coffee's like not a thing right. that I really enjoy. Like okay. I have to be in like the mood. Um, I'm like. Ghost and and monster energy. Oh god! Like, 
I'm Chad, but not. <laughs> Dude, I've, I, I can't drink. Dude, it's man-made gasoline, and I'm addicted. You're it is my. I'm it not, is the only thing I'm in not. my life that I'm literally addicted to. I'm not going to disagree with you at all. It, I, I need I just, it. I can't do it. I know, dude. I they, and I shouldn't. They wreck me. Coffee, too. Coffee jacks me Oh, up, okay. Dude. Well, you're just like caffeine sensitive then. I, I guess, but anytime yeah, yeah. I've had... No, co- no caffeine dude, I just can, does not do it for me. <laughs> right now, I could... <clears throat> You could you could lay out a variety of energy energy drinks. I guarantee you, I could drink any of them and then go immediately to sleep. Like it does <laughs> nothing for me at this point. Oh my God. I wish it did. Oh, uh, <clears throat> I I just I can't join on that. So why do you want to roast your own coffee beans? It's uh, <laughs> um I don't know. It's interesting. Um, uh, there's a lot to it. Um, and like I have this whole like brand that i've already like made up in my head oh so you gotta follow through <clears throat> now dude i turn everything into a job <laughs> I, I turn everything do you see these shoes dude i do see those shoes bro did you, did you I paint bought, those shoes i did and I, and i was like oh i can like i found all these white converse for three dollars oh my goodness and i was like i can buy these and just sell them yeah and so i bought a fuck ton of them <laughs> <clears throat> turns out girls love sunflowers so if you just draw sunflowers on white converse, you can make a quick buck. Hey, there you go. Uh, dude, I sold like five pairs of sunflower converse. And then I was like, I, sh- I, I don't have time to do this. Why did I start this like <laughs> painting shoe business oh, now? God. So how many <clears throat> pairs of shoes do you have left? Um, Like 10. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that's, that's and like I, I owe people some shoes. Uh, All right, so and I just like about. haven't picked it back up. <laughs> so... Well, at least you know the demand is there. Yeah, so like I and go back go back to coffee. Like I literally just turn everything into a business. But uh, I'm trying not to. I'm trying to like enjoy <laughs> something. Yeah. Uh. So, I but I'm like oh, I could just like give it to like clients as like a present for when they I don't know, dude. Like you could. I'm all over the place. I mean, business places love coffee. Uh, I think I'm gonna call it Rocket Fuel though, and stick with the uh, like my business yeah. logo is like an astronaut. So right. I'm gonna stick with like the space theme. Fair enough. It yeah, dude, do like, then, right? uh, dude, I've got a whole like business plan already worked out. <laughs> like I'm not even, like single, like prepacketed coffee grounds and I can call them booster packs and oh, stuff. Man. I'm like done. Goodness. Dude. I'm so good at this, man. Uh, but you, <clears throat> so I appreciate the art of coffee because some people get really nerdy about it yeah. with, with really specialized tools and machines. Like yeah, yeah, a yeah, coffee yeah, yeah. roasting machine yeah, yeah. is a serious machine. Yeah. Um, uh, that's another reason that I'm like, I don't really know how far this will go. Cause I'm not wanting to get that invested into it. Like <laughs> you, you may look at these numbers and decide this is a terrible. Yeah, idea. it will like, so like buying a 20 pound sample of coffee, like you get five pounds, five pound packs, uh, is like $20 online it's like green beans and you can get them. I think you get like five different samples. I was like 20 bucks, like to get started. I've got an air fryer. You can roast, like you can roast yeah. coffee in the air fryer. I never thought about uh, that, but yeah. Yeah, dude. Um, you can do it. You, <laughs> that's, that's the most like Western culture thing I've heard in a minute. You can roast coffee beans in an air fryer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, have you met me? I'm Taylor Swift. Oh, man, I, like, I'm not calling you super white. I'm just saying that's the most Western civilization thing I've heard all day. <laughs> it, yeah no yeah, i agree 100 uh, percent. Uh, or i could roast them over a fire like a man well i mean both um, would be entertaining but yeah yeah like i i mean uh, you have enough coffee to like experiment right dude i could like i could order this 20 dollar sack of coffee and hate my life and never want to like <laughs> i burn everything i mean i don't know but like I, i'm willing to try well i mean how, how do you know if you don't exactly i mean and and Wasting twenty pounds of coffee beans is probably dude. Not I blow the worst. twenty dollars worth of energy drinks every week. Like I can splurge on a sack of coffee. Yeah, I don't. I don't think in the grand scheme of things, a sack of coffee is the worst thing to be like. Oh, screw it. Yeah, dude. <laughs> you know. Yeah, that's that's definitely not the worst. I've thrown out much more expensive things and and rash bad decisions and said, oh, screw it, and never look back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess like I just didn't know that roasting your own coffee was a thing, and I got really intrigued when I found out that you could do it. So YouTube rabbit hole. Yeah. Yeah. And then I like got really into it uh, and I'm like, I'm going to try this. <laughs> like I have to, you should uh, go check out some of the local coffee roaster folks. 
I should. Um, I love when I go to tell people things and their names escape me. Dude, I know, right? It's the worst. But there are really there cool are local people coffee here. Roaster folks. Um, yes. I know Golden Roast is one, uh, and I know that they've got their distributed into like Walmart's and stuff like that. So I assume they they very probably well kind of have their shit together. Yeah. Um, um, and there's there's a couple of those. Uh, one of the coffee stands in Market Square at the farmers market. One of those cats uh, roasts their own coffee here in town. So um, in Farragut, and I and I don't know the name of them, but they brought a um, a fire roasting like coffee shop to hey, Farragut, and cool. so you can like watch them roast it and stuff like that over a, over a flame. So that's pretty cool. I, I can't remember the name of it. It's pretty new too. It's probably only been open a couple of months. I would just have to go there to see that. Yeah, yeah, dude. Um, we should definitely check it out. I don't know how to tell you to search it. <laughs> fire, fire coffee, coffee, Farragut. Fire coffee. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, I'd have. Yeah, well, I'm gonna have to check that out now. I'm insanely curious. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> so beyond the coffee, like I said, any moonshots? Any big ideas you're trying to work um, on? <clears throat> besides the YouTube channel, um, getting started back up, uh, the coffee thing. Not really. I'm also in the process of like remodeling my home, which is consuming. Man, my... how about it, dude? It's the worst. <laughs> uh, I haven't. I haven't had a shower in my own home in two and a half months now. Yeah, I don't know what that's like. Yeah, dude. Uh, I have to plan my shower time around gym time, yep. and it's the worst. <laughs> dude, I've I've helped. I've done so much home remodeling stuff. Like, stay in the house you're working on for a month or two, and then all of a sudden, like, it's time to get out because you're done. Like, yeah, oh, dude. No, what do I do? <laughs> oh yeah, dude. I hit that. I hit that wall like three weeks ago and stayed there for like two weeks. Yeah. I was like, I just don't want to do anything. I don't want to look at anything. Just uh, ignore it. All. Yeah, dude. I just, I really did too. Like, because <laughs> it was, it was turning me into a person that I don't like being. <laughs> what and, was home remodeling doing to you, dude? <laughs> I'm just getting so angry. Uh, uh. No, dude. It's it's literally the worst. So, I've got a lot. I've like I've got a lot going on. I'm trying to like hone my focus into like one at a time right now. All right. So what's what's a good creative day look like for you? A good creative a good day. Good creative day. Um. So what I normally like do I'm really in the flying my, like flying my drone right now. Uh. So I've been waking up early, uh, and going down to like world's fair and stuff like that, flying the drone around the sun sphere. Mm -hmm. It's always like a dope shot. Um, probably like hiking somewhere. Uh, I like shooting stuff with like a view. So probably like a little travel vlog kind of thing. Like, are you asking like a perfect day for me or like, yeah, what, no, like my normal day? What's a day that you wake <clears throat> up, you go about your day, you do your creative things and you feel good about it. Like what's that routine look like for you? Oh, um, if there okay. is a routine. Uh, dude, my life's wild. So there's not really a super routine, but so my days that I work for my business, uh, it's a late start. Like I don't have to get up super early, which is cool. Um, go out, shoot whatever content I need for the businesses. And that's just like, that just requires me like drive around Knoxville, wherever they're at. Yeah. Um, like I shoot for, a, like I said, I shoot for the fencing company. Um, so I just go to multiple job sites, film them. Um, come back home and edit man like it's pretty chill um unless i'm doing something like crazy like a, like i have to plan for a commercial or or something like that i mean it's social media stuff is just kind of all capturing the moment and and throw some text and stuff like that on top of it and kind of just make an ad out of it mm -hmm. so <clears throat> and that's that's a pretty normal business work day yeah yeah dude i mean i um i knock out all my stuff pretty pretty quick so what's no. a what's a good personal creative day look like? Personal creative day, uh, a sadness. Uh, <laughs> That's not the answer, dude. <laughs> Damn me for having expectations, dude. Uh, I don't know. Like personal creative days are sometimes hard because I want to do everything. Uh, I wake up every day and want to conquer the world, and then realize that I can't, and get a little sad about it. <laughs> yeah, I get that. Um, <laughs> so uh, personal days are like. I don't know, man. It just depends on what topic I'm doing. Like, usually I get outside. So, like I said, usually I'll fly the drone, uh, take a hike. Um, I do have a big commercial planned for, like, my own personal brand that I haven't done yet. Yeah. Uh, because it's, like, it's, it's, a, it's a lot, and I want to do it all by myself. 
Because it's yours. Yeah, like I like I just want to be like, oh, and by the way, I filmed this all by myself, so clearly I'm good at what I do. Uh, <laughs> well enough to make this shit happen. Yeah, right dude. Here. Like, <laughs> there's gonna be like a bomb, and dude, I'm just getting weird with it. My website is super weird, and if <laughs> like if you don't like it. And like you don't want to work with me, then good because it it worked. Like I don't want to. I probably don't. <laughs> it was work, a good filter. I don't want to work with you either. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, that's like I'm not trying to win over customers. I just want people that want my work. Dude, I've had, I've had one client so far that um, I will never work with again. Oh no. Uh, just because I don't mesh well people. Uh, like, I don't mesh well with people that are like snobby, and are like just like push your money or like yeah. push their money in your face and crap. I don't care, dude. Like I really don't care. I live in a, I live in a trap with three dogs. Like, <laughs> like I don't care. It's cool that you have money. I get it. Right. Um, it's good for you. Yeah. Like it's so cool for you. Uh, yeah, dude, I don't, I don't mesh well with, with that kind of vibe. So, so if they see your website and they're like, oh, hell no, it's fine that they don't Like, call. it's just like, there's a bunch of, like, astronaut crap on there. And it's just like, <laughs> I just say goofy. I literally just say goofy stuff like I would in front of you. Uh, so. Well, so there is some truth in advertising. In yeah, the, I mean, it, like, <laughs> legitimately, like, like at the top of my, uh, the top of my, my website, when you pull it up, like, the very top banner just says, looking good, Space Cowboy. Oh, my God. And, like. <laughs> Well, Why? Okay. I don't know, because okay. I want my customers to feel like they're looking good today. All right, so what's the URL for this website? What's uh, the website? Um, <laughs> filmpilot, filmpilotpro.com. Looking good, Space Cowboy. Looking good, Space Cowboy. Hey, you know, I appreciate that. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Random <laughs> compliments, I'll take them. Uh, the name of my business came from iCarly. Um, uh, you know the show, like, uh, do you know the episode where they, no, I'm, I don't. Okay, but good. Th- that's ridiculous. But I, dude, I, I, listen, I'm an avid iCarly fan only because Jeanette McCurdy was so fine back in the day and still is. Uh, and so they have an episode called Penny Tees and it's just like, they put two words, t- two random words together. And so that's where I got film pilot from. I was just thinking of like creative words words and, and pilot goes with the aerospace it does space yeah stuff. so like i got the astronaut uh, like the astronaut logo and like a little film strip running around him well there you go i think it works yeah i actually like i guess i can nobody knows this but like i have a i have like a tattoo of my logo kind of I, I do dig it uh I oh a, i mean i'm a big fan of spacey astronaut shit i had anyway, my so. well, my buddy spencer like I, yeah uh, I dig it. yeah dude i was like hey man this is my logo and i want you to warp and use your magic powers yeah. And make me something cool with it. Turned this into a it. cool tattoo. Yeah. And he did. And he did. And he yeah, killed it. <laughs> that, yeah. It's a good black and white tattoo. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, it's funny talking about images on our bodies when people can't see the. Yeah. No. I was like, <laughs> this is a terrible time to do this. But. No. Yeah. Totally show me your tattoo. Listen, listeners. It looks like this. And then I'll just spell it out for them. Um, <laughs> so, like, funny story about a tattoo the other day. I was working on a job. And uh, there's a. Uh, I was flying the drone to, um, I, have, I work for a company that does cranes and like they crane pools into yards. Mm-hmm. Like it's like a gigantic concrete pool and usually it, like gnarly. flies over the house and stuff like that. So like I get shots of that obviously cause it's cool. Yeah. Um, cranes. the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cranes. <laughs> uh, I'm just a gigantic child. Um, yeah. so the guy that was, that was one of the workers there had a unicorn tattoo <laughs> <laughs> but like he's a he's a like I talked to the, he was a cool dude I talked to him for a while he's like a motorcycle guy like burly like exactly like picture probably burly yeah. motorcycle man that was him but his unicorn tattoo I stopped him like mid sentence and I was like holy shit can I take a picture of that <laughs> and he was like yeah of course it was <laughs> yeah, a of course. it was a roasted corn on the cob riding a unicycle. And he was like, it's my unicorn tattoo. Blew my mind. It's the dopest tattoo I've ever seen. I don't have any weird tattoos like that, but I respect it so hard. I feel like he was in the mood for a tattoo and he walked in the shop and he saw that one on the wall and he was just like, fuck yes. Dude, so I, don't, I know. I think he like, I asked him like the story and he put thought into it. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, that's he even he better. planned on that tattoo that day. That's even better. He's like, I want a unicorn tattoo and I want it to be weird. And he got a, a weird. corn on the cob <laughs> riding a unicycle. <laughs> I will show you the picture after the, that's, the podcast. That's amazing. I love 
those kinds of ridiculous stories. Yeah. I mean, I have a tattoo of a Zamboni, so I can't say a whole That's lot. That's a dope tattoo, though. <laughs> uh, I guess my weirdest one is... <laughs> That's as, really... As I reveal my upper That's arm. really funny. Yeah, dude. I, I love my Zamboni tattoo. Um, I've got a SpongeBob, like a Doodle Bob, on the yes. back, on my back shoulder, Noemi holding Holy. up a sauce bottle, and it oh just my. says S A W C E. Oh my god! Give him the sauce. That's amazing. Yeah, I love Doodle Bob. Doodle Bob is one of my favorite anti-heroes. <laughs> yeah, my Spongebob buddy, uh, my buddy Justin has the exact same tattoo. We got it together. Oh, how sweet! Because we're that, <laughs> we're that couple. You're those guys. Yeah, dude. <laughs> so, man, what, what? Um, so I normally like to ask people, like, do you ever find that Zen moment in your workflow where you're just like doing the thing in it, like deep in that workflow, just loving it? Yeah. Yeah. I do. Where do you get that? Um, dude, I, th- I thrive in fire. So <laughs> when I was directing this music video the other day, um, though I was stressed to the fucking max, like everything came together perfectly. But that's when um, you were in the zone. Yeah, like that that's pressure. when I, yeah, when if if my back is against the wall, then I don't know. I hit a stride that I just like can't get, get I can't get out of until it's it's over. Mm-hmm. Um, so I would say definitely in those moments, and then just sometimes when I'm just like at the house and I've got a good album on and I'm just editing, um, especially when it's, uh, I'm editing pictures. It's editing has become one of my favorite things to do. Just like bringing color back out of things and stuff like that. It's just cool to me. Um, But if I'm editing photos, then I always put on like one of my favorite albums and I just won't leave that seat until I'm done. Fair. What you want to tell me what album that is? Uh, dude, I have a lot. Taylor Swift red. No, (laughs) it's usually not like, no, that's some like weird. I'm crying. I'm a little sad crying in the car album stuff. You you said you like, jokingly said taylor swift oh no dude like i no i'm an avid like i'm i'm an avid taylor swift i i enjoy taylor swift all right so that stab in the dark wasn't too far off no dude not 100 percent. no no you're good um no my like uh, i i joke all the time and tell people that like my life is the epitome of a taylor swift album oh my god like 100 percent, dude it's just like me being sad about boys all the time or something (laughs) (laughs) um Let's see. Uh, last, so lately I've been on this rapper named Montana Three Hundred, Montana of Three Hundred. Never heard of this person. Um, he, I've been listening to a lot of drill rap. That's actually uh, the. I've never heard of drill rap. It's like <laughs> charging. Like oh my god. I don't know. Very aggressive. Yeah, it's pretty aggressive, dude. All right. Uh, I'm super white. <laughs> uh, it, for, it's for so those aggressive. Of you that can't tell through the microphone. It's so aggressive that sometimes I'm scared that I'm listening to it in my car, like around people. That I'm like. This kid is weird. They might think I'm it's like, dude. Kill look somebody. at this white Taylor Swift looking Sailor Moon wearing shirt kid listening to drill rap. Like, get away from us. <laughs> yeah, we don't like you. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> well, um, I've learned all kinds of things in the past thirty seconds, dude. So. I am like, yeah, I'm deep into the the <laughs> rap game. I'm not gonna lie. Oh uh, I don't know. I just like beats, man. Um, I mean, that's fair. I'm gonna have to turn some of this drill rap on at work on Monday. And see dude, what my you, yeah, you say. need to. I can turn you on to a lot of gangster rap God, right please, now. Please, please. Um, what else do I be listening to sometimes? Like, I like. I'll put on like a Childish Gambino album. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I dig that. New Found Glory. Dig that like, too. Do I listen to everything? I really do. Bluegrass, like you name it, I listen to everything. Man, I, it's a free for all on the on the phone that controls the music at work. So you know we're mostly in a private scenario. We're yeah. in a shop, so you know we'll play whatever the hell we want. Yeah, yeah, really yeah, for sure. About a customer walking in because we don't. That's the it. best. I mean, sometimes they occasionally bust through the door and surprise the hell out of all of us. But usually those are the cool ones that yeah know, that know we're up to some fuck shit with the radio. You know? <laughs> <laughs> what y'all be doing back here? Yeah, dude. Listening to West Coast rap. Why? Had a customer come in one time. We were working some late hours. He's a good customer of ours. We were listening to some something that wasn't explicitly cannabis um, uh, inspired. Yeah. But I don't know. It had to be some like reggae or some like really bluesy rock or yeah. something psychedelic. He just come in there. It's like y'all are listening to that weed music. Yeah, dude. And I just look around and all my coworkers like, do I say like blatantly yes and or. Just like, man, yeah, it's just what's on. Yeah. It was a mix of the two. 
like a couple of my coworkers just threw their hands up and shrugged. And I was over there on the other side of the room like, well, yeah. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> and? Um, speaking of weed music, you have you ever listened to a band called The Odd Squad? The Odd Squad, no. I get into the stoner music on the like metal end of the spectrum. Okay. So anything from like uh, sleep and high on fire all the way to like witchcraft and, and doomy stuff. Oh, you're in it, in it. Yeah, I'm... I'm as deep in it as national touring bands can get, I guess. But I, I don't know, man. I listen to all sorts of metal stuff. It's just like the stoner, doom, sludgy, slow, riffy stuff. Usually, you know, usually. Yeah, dude, you'll have me. to like, you'll have to share some music with me. I definitely will. I want to, um, I want to see what you're into. Like, there's right now. Uh, okay, so Spotify normally doesn't like nail me with their <clears throat> curated playlists. Yeah, yeah. But they hit me really hard the other day with the Stoner Rock playlist. Yeah. And I am not ashamed to admit that they just fucking like punched me in the nose with this playlist. Dude, I yeah. Uh, Spotify. I will say going switching to Spot or switching to Apple Music, I miss the Spotify algorithm. The curated I really stuff. do. Like. I'm telling you right now, Apple does a terrible job of it. <laughs> a terrible job. I do. I do feel like Spotify does like, a pretty good job. All the, that stuff the when out. you like make a playlist too, and at the bottom it gives you like five tracks that are like similar to that playlist yeah. that you've made. It's killer. Trash. Like I would always get. Well, yeah, on, on Apple on it Apple sucks. Trash. On Spotify, I would always like, oh, I fuck with this hard. So. You know, on on the other end of that spectrum too, I'll listen to a lot of EDM, and I'll turn on either one of those. When I'm doing I get it. whatever. I'm yeah, doing. EDM. I listen to like EDM stuff, mm-hmm. um, especially when I'm working or working out. I, I I enjoy that more when I'm working out than like working. Yeah, it's funny. It's uh, something for your brain to work on while your body's working yeah. on something. But I, I mean, hell, sometimes I don't turn on any music at all and I'll just be doing the damn thing. But usually um, I have music. It's very yeah. Rare usually, that I don't have music. if I'm really trying to plow through something, it's always music. If I'm just like. If I'm doing like something that I I've I've done a thousand times before, then usually I'll just listen to like the TV. I put up like my favorite show is Community. Yeah. Um. So I've li- I've, great I've listened and watched that show a thousand <laughs> a thousand times over. Yeah, I know how that goes. I'll turn on like King of the Hill. Yeah. Or um, uh, the Sonic series from the '90s if I can find it, or MXC, uh, from yeah. from oh god, what was that TNT or some shit back in the day. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Anyway, yeah, uh, I love listening to goofy dubbed stuff. Oh so yeah, like, yeah. MXC I got you. is my favorite for like if I just need something stupid to laugh at, mm-hmm. I'm turning that shit on and I'm doing whatever I need and I'll catch a joke in the background and love it, you know. And uh, it's on Amazon Prime, so I just turn that shit on and like giggle the rest of the day. Yeah, Kenny Blankenship, man. It's, it's the the tag team duo Vic Romano and Kenny Blankenship just fucking shit up ruining everybody's day with <laughs> terrible commentary. God, I love it so much. It's one of the most ridiculous things I ever saw on TV growing up, and it's just stuck with me. <laughs> That's really funny. That's stuck with you that hard. I love it. The just the the totally over the top ridiculous humor is my brand of stupid. So I, I like. I, it no, I got it, man. <laughs> I love it. I enjoy like I enjoy that kind of thing too, like a lot. So mm. I get it. Jackass movies aren't really my cup of tea, but like overdubbed foreign game shows, yes sir, where people are just like getting dude. There was some like on the on the obstacle course. There was some really funny like uh, game shows back in the day on MTV. Do you remember like Silent Library and stuff? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that shit was crazy. Yeah, those like those are always like super fun. Or like uh, the Bully Beatdown. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that the Bully Beatdown was honestly the most like heartwarming. Yeah, so they'd take this kid and train him up, and then just throw him in the ring with this. No experience, you know, street fighting kid, and, they, and usually the bully would get their ass whipped. Oh yeah, but you know, sometimes you just can't train a man to not get his ass kicked. <laughs> Everybody's got to plan until they get punched in the face. Yeah, exactly. So that's exactly right. But uh, it's like, oh man, they tried. They really, really tried. Bless them. Bless them. <laughs> Put their money where their mouth was, and like really tried to help somebody for once. And then he went in their cage and got his ass whipped. <laughs> like, oh, we tried. Dang, dude. Yeah. We should have got a better fighter. Right. <laughs> Your fault. <laughs> so, man, are there any um, images or videos, like compositions and styles you, you are influenced by or gravitate towards as a creative person in these fields? Um. Well, Peter McKinnon, for sure. Um, but honestly, like, I've kind of... I've kind of stepped away from, like, his shooting style, I guess, but still, like, I, I color a lot like him. Um, it's more like 
my shit's a lot like always kind of grungy looking uh and it doesn't have to be for people that may may think that i'm like oh dude this guy's everything i do this guy's like yeah like this guy's using some fucking camera from 2007 or something <laughs> uh no like i dirty every like it's called like dirtying up your lens and like i, I dirty my shit up a lot um <laughs> uh, so it's always more like contrast and like moody kind of stuff um as far as like shooting wise um I was at one point trying to do a Scott Pilgrim, uh, like zombie movie kind of thing. I'd be here. So for like that. Edgar 100%. Wright style, where he does like the weird the transitions and, and, and yeah, like, like stuff. Yeah. that the that kind of like the animation on top of real life videos and like like Edgar Wright's uh, transition specifically and the way that he does like he times things down to music, which is like s- beautiful. Um, and music's like a big part of like, I don't know, my entire day all the time. So if I, um, I like doing stuff like that. I like, I like purposely placing things to the beat that like people are doing that like could kind of go, like you could Mm -hmm. see kind of go with it. Um, in my, in my 2021 reel that I did, um, there was a part of the song that I had and it was like a weird, like rap kind of song ish. Um, but like the guy says, Oh yeah. Like in the song. And so on the screen, you see Travis, uh, you see Travis say something in like, in the movie we filmed with him, but like, you can see, like, I was trying to put, put the two things together, right. you know? So, it's so the, he I do of, a lot of like purposeful, purposeful, like to the beat things too. I dig that. It's, that is very satisfying. Yeah. Yeah. I enjoy it a lot. So thank you. <laughs> yeah, dude. So I guess Edgar, like it was a long fucking explanation, but I guess Edgar Wright and, uh, like Peter McKinnon and. And just like moody kind of people, and and so so that's that's the inspirations and the look you yeah kind of go for the yeah. look you enjoy producing yeah 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 cool. I'm gonna have to look up who this photography person is because I've honestly never heard Peter of Peter McKinnon. Yeah, yeah, dude, uh, he's a Canadian. He's pretty cool, uh, or seems to be pretty cool. He likes pirates. Pirates are cool. So <laughs> uh, he's a tall dude. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> And, and everybody's he, at Vid Summit right now. Like all the YouTubers and stuff like that are at Vid Summit uh, in California right now. Is it's that like a, a big social media conference thing. Yeah, pretty much. Never heard of that either. <laughs> no, dude. I, I'm I'm cool with it, man. Like I, I like sharing my world with other people. So well, I mean, yeah, I'm all for any creative space like that where people can get together and talk about being creative people. I just didn't know that event was a thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. It's just like a whole YouTube event. Well, so. sounds like it could be a lot of fun. Oh, show. Maybe I'll go someday. <laughs> I'm trying. I well, got. I, I mean, like, why not? Yeah, dude. Well, uh, I mean, I, I know, I know one person that's there. Um, that's like legit a YouTuber. She's got like uh, her name's Leela. She's from the UK, and uh, I think she's got like 150 thousand subscribers now. Uh, and I talk to her on like a, a normal basis. A normal basis for somebody who's super busy. Yeah. So like. <laughs> twice a month <laughs> uh, you know honestly like more than that like i, I consider myself pretty lucky because she's like a pretty big deal uh in cool. the youtube world and and she like takes the time to like respond so yeah anytime people you like she's super into like uh metal and billy eilish uh so uh, yeah that's she seems <laughs> pretty like she only wears black she seems pretty cool <clears throat> i told her the other day i needed a american version of her here yeah, that's so, fair. It was like, we like could where, totally, where's your cool doppelganger? We could totally, yeah, like, where is your doppelganger yeah. at? Because we could totally hang out. Right. So. <laughs> on, on this side of the Yeah, ocean. on this side, because I'm broke, <laughs> dude. Well, man, what, uh, are there any projects or any mediums or anything you would like to get into that you haven't yet? What's, mm, is there a next thing? Yes. Uh, animation. Animation? Um, and I've already, like, taken the steps to get into it. Uh, it's just been one of those things where, like, I've let everything get in front of it. Um, but I was actually, I was like, I need to go home and like do that or like earlier today. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I draw like, uh, I bought like a, a, a Wacom tablet. Um, that way I could draw over, um, video clips. And then there's this program that's completely free, uh, for anybody who might want to get into the animation stuff. It's called EB synth, um, completely free. <laughs> and so you would film yourself and plug your, the video into, this program basically uh draw a couple frames over your body and like over the background and then this eb synth program will um 
fill in the rest. Like that's pretty handy. I mean, it can only do. It's very good. I mean, you couldn't like run or something like that. If you're if it's like a talking head video, it can do it all day long. Uh, if you're like actually walking around, you may have to like draw extra frames. Right. But still, it can it can pretty much do it all by itself. Well, that's cool. Uh, yeah, I've it's got very some cool. Professional experience animating and drawing or operating those in between frames is a pain in the dick. Yeah, dude. So. So yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, dude, it's, uh, it's a compl- like I said, it's a completely free program, which is pretty badass. Hey, anytime you get a good free tool, like, it'd yeah. be foolish not to take advantage of it. So, do you know what you would like to animate? Um, or what kind of content you'd like to create with that? So, a, a passion project for a, eventually. Um, I, I looked into it for a while um, when I had my office space. Uh, but now currently where I live, I have like 2004 dial up internet connection. Ooh, I'm sorry. Yeah, dude, it's really bad. All copper cables. Like really bad. Like AT&T doesn't offer anything else f- for me. Like I live on the top of a mountain. Oh, um, that'll do you. Comcast was too good for me. They're like, no, nah, dude, we're not going to, like, even if you give us money, we're not going to run a line to Oh, my house. God. Like, yeah, dude, Bricks. it was going to cost me, like, $5,000. And they're like, no, nah, it's still not worth it, dog. You know what? You're you're, uh, you're not the first person I've heard say that. <clears throat> really? Yeah. So, come on, Elon Musk, 2023, baby, with that Starlink. Uh, that's what I'm gunning for. Yeah, there you go. But uh, what I want to get into is a Spider-Man, like, cgi animation video. Like, Hell building... Yeah. Building the buildings, like animating the entire thing, rigging the character, um, which I've done a dabble of. Uh, it's in my like 2021 reel. I like recreated a scene from, um, damn, what was the last Spider Man movie? I just forgot. Far Not from, Far From Home. Uh, oh, goodness. Is it Far From Home? No. Uh, home anyway, coming. the Tom Holland one, dude. Yeah. No, no. It's a, it's a, oh, no. Spider Man movies. No. Uh, it's, uh, it is Far From Home, I think. No, that's the London one. Oh, God. Yeah, I don't know, right. dude. It's Homecoming, then Far From Home, then this latest one. Whatever this latest Whatever. one is. We all know it's the third uh, Spider-Man Yeah, movie. at this time, <laughs> at this point, I'm going to shut up. But yeah, like the third Spider-Man movie, I recreated a scene completely CGI by myself. Like, Hell yeah. It's very hard. That's a lot of work. It's disgustingly hard. I don't know hard. how much work that it's is. It's disgustingly hard. It took me hours dude, and there's hours. A, there's... And it probably lasts, I'd say the scene lasts like 10 seconds. Yeah. Every single second of a digital scene is like 30 hours worth of work. It is BS is what it oh, is. Oh, man. The ratio of input to output for that kind of thing is if you're not like finished product minded when you're doing these kind of things, you will absolutely hate yourself every minute of the process. Um, I worked for a music studio in town that did a children's educational animation project. And I worked uh, four to six hours a day on like... Uh, maybe a couple really good frames of a thing. Yeah. And, you know, that includes hand drawing all the assets on mm-hmm. top of using the things in the program that were yep. already there and blah, 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 making sure everything looked cool and moved right and set to the music, da, da, da. And I was animating a lot of music videos. So everything, yeah. everything was keyframed. You know, yeah, it's got to so hit this beat, that beat. Characters yep. got to do this, this, that. And man, if it wasn't the most rewarding thing after, you know, editing this. <sighs> let's see 75 second music video and, mm-hmm. and making everything work. If I didn't know how good that felt and only ever got to do the front part and never get the reward, I probably would have pulled my hair out. Yeah, dude. Um, animating is did you like rough. do like the weird glowy stuff over the music video? Is that what you were animating or no, what no, no. It's like the literal images and oh, everything itself. Like I like an characters. actual like cartoon. Yeah. I, oh, that's wild. I rigged and skin characters, created environments, hand drawn a lot of elements and props. Oh, and, uh, and all can I see that? Maybe, um, I'll, it's on YouTube somewhere as a project. I'll show you here in a minute or yeah. two, but, uh, you should definitely check that out. It's, it was a <laughs> program that was available for tablets and smartphones to help children learn to read and, uh, phonics and stuff like That's that. That's awesome. It was, I mean, I didn't hate it. It's the most, it's the closest I'll ever get to being an instructor of any kind because, uh, I'm not going to be a teacher, period. Uh, my, I come from a very long line of educators that all told me not to be an educator. Yeah. I don't know if that's like, Thomas, don't do this, or it's just like, hey, straight up, don't be a teacher. You should, yeah, <laughs> this is a terrible decision. Yeah. 
I mean, they've all led pretty good lives in the in the in the field, but yeah. they all told me like, go do something else. <laughs> Please. Yeah. I don't know if, like I say, I don't know if this is for me, like this would not suit me and they know it. Or if it's just like, nah, go, go. This is not like a terrible career or like, Oh no, you're way too wild for this shit. Yeah, and you want to exactly. enjoy it. I, yeah. I got you. So that's, that's pretty much how that went down. So it's like my mom, a couple of my aunts and uncles and all this stuff. My grandfather, like all these people are just like, no, you go do something else. <laughs> <clears throat> It's like, well, all right, Papa, I'll go do something else. All right, dude. I got it. <laughs> sure. Thanks. I understand. Yep. So never have I ever questioned it beyond that. Like, Fair, I dude. Just go do I don't, I don't think things. I would either at that point. <laughs> nah, man. If everyone's telling you no. Yeah. And it's, and it's just all the people that have been in the industry for like 30 years. So I'm just like, yeah, it's cool. Yeah. I believe you. <laughs> you have literally all the experience I'd ever need to make this an informed decision. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, man, we're rolling up on an hour right here. Go okay. ahead. Um Plug your website, plug your socials, tell people what services you offer, and then let my listeners know whatever else you feel is appropriate. Oh, dude. Uh, okay, so Film Pilot, <clears throat> Film Pilot Pro is my website. Um, it currently has like been soft launched. Uh, I haven't really told many people about it because I want to get that commercial up, and I haven't had time to film the damn commercial. Um, so but it will it be first? like... It will be the greatest commercial for like a small business ever. That's my plan. Um, I'm here for it. Uh, face or yeah, I mean my Facebook film pilot uh, is or my personal page is just Alex Bullock uh, B U L L O C K. Um, Instagram and Twitter is both Alex Bullock Media, uh, but the Twitter account is just A L X instead of A L E X. Darn Twitter. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Somebody um, has this username. I think that's it, dude. Like I, I don't, I don't do TikTok. TikTok's weird to me still. Fair. Uh, I it's don't got, enjoy it. It's got it. some sketch around <clears throat> it. I don't. I don't. I don't think it's cool. Um, yeah, dude. That's it. That's it for my socials. Oh, YouTube. You can look me. Up. I don't know how you'd fucking find me on YouTube. <laughs> uh, I have like ninety six subscribers. I'm working my balls off for y'all, but you just won't subscribe. <laughs> They'll um, click that like button, but they don't. They don't want that. Hit. Yeah, dude. Because <laughs> um, we ran like Artist Alley, and we had like a whole interview show and, and stuff in Knoxville for a while. Yeah. Um, cool. But yeah, like uh, Alex Bullock on YouTube, I guess, and you'll find me somehow. If we find an Alex Bullock with ninety six subscribers, that's yeah, dude. Idea. That's me. If you see my <laughs> fat ass face with a husky, and it was something about a, like a husky video, that's that's me. That's that's definitely yeah. you. And it's photography, videography, social media. Oh, yeah, social blah, blah, media blah, work, blah. whatever you need me to do, man. I will, uh, if you need some shoes painted, hit me up. <laughs> so like, you, I will literally do whatever. <laughs> Head to toe creative stuff. <laughs> yeah, dude. Excellent. Uh, um, well, everybody, this has been the next episode of the KAAMP. Thanks, Alex Book, for coming along and doing the thing. This dude. is another one of those questions out into the ether kind of scenarios where some random stranger said yes. Um, if you want, I'm just to. chilling in your living room. Yeah, <laughs> <I know. dude. laughs> yeah, and we're doing the thing. That's the magic right yeah, there. Dude, it is. Uh, thank you, internet. Um, if you want to support the show, you can listen, share, rate, do all that jazz. I'm on all the outlets, Google, Spotify, blah, blah, blah. You heard me say this earlier. If you want to support the artwork that is made by the person that makes this podcast you can find thomas zachary on the old instagrams at ttw underscore artworks uh you can say you like something and then i'll make sure it's available to you and then you can buy it and i'll ship it to you maybe even in a box is that how that works i mean yeah unless you're local and then i'll hand deliver it and then you get to see my face if that matters um you can uh, follow me on Instagram. You can buy my artwork. You can follow the podcast on Instagram. You can join the podcast Discord, which is the KAAMP blah, blah, blahs. There's a link in the link tree on my Instagram page if you want to have a cool place on the internet to talk about artsy things. That's definitely a fun place to do it. Um, otherwise, thank y'all for listening. And Daddy, thanks, I'll, guys. Uh, yeah, thank y'all. And uh, I'll talk at you next time. Goodbye.